Hello everyone, R. Jerome Harris. In a previous video, I talked about getting a web host account. In this video, I wanna talk about getting a stream host account. Now, let me first differentiate between a web host account and a stream host account. A web host account is only associated with you getting a website, that is a www.com name. A stream host account or a stream host provider, these are companies that take your stream from your SAM broadcaster that you send up through your internet connection and then they restream your content onto the internet. In other words, you're not streaming from your SAM broadcaster computer directly to someone's internet connection. No, that's not how it works. You're actually streaming from your SAM broadcaster computer to a stream host provider. These are the people who connect your stream to a high-speed internet connection so that visitors can access your website and listen to your stream. And you have to think about this. If you're streaming directly from your computer at home or in your office or place of business, and let's say if you want to reach, say, 100 people simultaneously, that would require a tremendous amount of bandwidth on your personal or home internet connection. And you're not going to find that. And if you did, it would be extremely expensive. We're talking T1 lines, T2 lines, talking tech stuff here. So a better solution is that you stream your music or content from your computer over your existing internet connection. That's fine. And your stream host provider picks it up and restreams it out to the internet. You see, because the stream host providers are equipped to do that. And almost everyone out there does that. They have a stream host provider. But what you're looking for is a stream host provider that's reliable. And you're looking at one right here, ShoutCheap. Now, I'm going to talk about some of their plans and which ones would be best for you. If you go to the website, ShoutCheap.com, and come over to the right, you see their different packages here. They have a ROM package uh, at $4.95 per month, which is very reasonable, but this is what you want to pay attention to. Listen to the KBPS, that's your kilobits per second rate. The kilobit per second rate stands for basically two things. It stands for the speed at which your stream is streaming, and it also represents the quality of your audio. If you elect to get the 32 kilobit per second package, understand that this is not very good for music. You want to stream music at a kilobit rate of 64 to 192 or even more. I find 128 is very good. The 32 kilobit per second package is good for those of you who want to do a talk show. Also pay attention to the number of listeners. Here it says 25 listeners. What does that mean? That means that 25 persons can listen to your broadcast simultaneously. Let's say if you're maxed out, let's say that you have 25 people listening to you and a 26 person tries to get in to listen to you. Well, that 26 person will not be able to listen to your stream until someone disconnects from your stream. And also what I like about Shout Cheap is that you get a free auto DJ. A lot of stream host providers don't offer a auto DJ. You have to buy that separately. So what is auto DJ? The best way to explain it is this. Let's say you're at home and you're streaming from Sam Broadcaster. Everything is going fine, but all of a sudden something happens. A storm comes about and you lose your internet connection. In other words, you're not able to send music from your computer over your internet connection to ShoutCheap or whoever your stream host provider is. So now your radio station's off the air. Let's further say that you have 25 listeners listening and all of a sudden the music goes away. They leave your website. Well, Auto DJ is a service that automatically keeps your radio station on the air, even if you lose your internet connection at home. The way it works is this. The moment your home internet connection is severed, the Shout Cheap Auto DJ senses that and it automatically begins to play the music that you've previously uploaded to your Auto DJ in the cloud. What's great about this is that Shout Cheap will cache the currently played song. So when your internet connection is severed, the song that you're streaming will play to its completion. And then the next songs to play will be the ones that are in your auto DJ. So it'll be a smooth transition and your listeners will never know that you've lost your internet connection. Now, the next one here is Silver 64. Uh, this is a little more. This is at $7.95 per month, but you get a little more. You get a bit rate of 64. This will be okay for audio. You get 50 listener slots and you get a free auto DJ. You have the Gold 96, and this is at $24.95 per month. And here you get a kilobit rate of 96 kilobits per second, and you get 100 simultaneous listeners. 
and you get a free auto DJ. I find that this would be a pretty good compromise. The audio quality would be great. But the best one is the Platinum. Here you get 128 kilobits per second. You get 200 simultaneous listeners and you get a free auto DJ. You can't beat this package. And this is at $64.95 per month. This is what I use. I have the Platinum 128 Pro. The 128 kilobit per second audio or stream sounds fantastic. You can tell the difference between a song that's being played at 128 kilobits per second versus the one at 64 and even at 96. This is just crystal clear. So pick your package and make sure that you're getting a Shoutcast hosting package. And the reason why you want Shoutcast is because a lot of the internet radio station nowadays that are on Shoutcast are automatically placed inside the Shoutcast directory. And what that means for you is more traffic. When visitors go to the Shoutcast website and they do a search for a certain genre of music, and if they find you, hey, that's traffic to your website. So make sure that you pick Shoutcast. This is the most popular. Once you decide on the package you want, simply click on the order now button or you could read more. And you have the option of paying monthly or quarterly or semi-annual or about a year. And you have some other configurable options below here. And this is for your auto DJ. So what you're asking for here is hard drive space. So if you have a very, very large music library, then you wanna make sure that you pick something that can accommodate your music. So if you have say 5,000 songs and you know that your 5,000 songs all together equal say four gigabytes of hard drive space, then you wanna select the package that will accommodate those 4,000 songs, assuming that you'll upload uh, 4,000 songs into your auto DJ. You don't have to do that. You may elect to upload only say 100 or 200. And if that's the case, then you don't need anything that large. One gigabyte server will suffice and you get that for free. Uh, where's this optional port 80? I normally do that. And the reason why is because port 80 is a web service. Port 80 is a portal that opens up your web browser. In other words, that allows your listeners to listen to your stream from your website. So this is very important. Mount point limit, I will leave this as it is. You don't need any of this. You get one anyway. And once you've uh, picked your options, then you will pay this amount that day that you decide to get your stream host provider account. And then you click checkout. And once you go through the process, ShoutCheap will send you an email with all of your stream host details. Make sure you save that email, print it out because it's gonna give you your server name. It'll give you your login and password into uh, the ShoutCheap back office, but you'll get some critical information that you have to input into SAM Broadcaster to in order SAM Broadcasters to connect to ShoutCheap and stream your audio. Okay, so that's all you need to know about getting a stream host provider. You can do a Google search for other ones, but be careful because there are a lot of services out there that are for free and they are not reliable. They're here today, gone tomorrow. They may be up for two or three hours and they drop offline. You want to choose a reliable stream host provider because your website and your radio station depends upon it. Your listeners are counting on something to where they're not being frustrated because your um, stream keeps dropping offline and they'll leave your website and go elsewhere. If your website proves to be troublesome because your stream doesn't stay up, they'll go away and perhaps not come back. So make sure that you choose a reliable stream provider. Shoutcheap is one of those. They're one of the best.